What is a critical aspect of speaking that most presenters leave out, but that if you include, can make a significant impact on your audience? The answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. You've heard about the P, the A, and the R in the part formula. Today you'll discover the T. This is the most overlooked and underutilized aspect of speaking, but if you use it, it will have a significant impact on the results you get every time you speak. The T stands for technique. This is the how part that so many individuals leave out. When they Haven't you heard a really good speech before? Maybe it was uplifting, entertaining, gave you some great ideas, but then left you flat because you didn't know what to do with it. These are the types of speeches I often put in the motivational speaker category. My biggest issue with motivational speeches is they don't really give you anything to do so you can get the same results as the speaker. They leave you feeling good, maybe for an hour or two, and then you go back to your day-to-day -day life because you've got no how-to next step. The how-to step doesn't always have to be an action that the audience has to take with you. It could be something as simple as buying a book or going online to do research. Now, typically when I present, I do offer something that people can take action on. Maybe it's sign up for my 52 tips. Go to my YouTube channel for tips like the ones you're watching. Maybe they can invest in a course or they can hire me as a coach. There are many different how-to steps. Make sure you put one in there. The key to that statement I just made is the word one. In an earlier tip, you heard me say that a confused mind says no, a clear mind says go. That's an old sales mantra. Although most speakers never put in a how-to step, there is a minority of people who often put in too many. They'll give you three or four things to do. That's a no-no. Why? Because a confused mind says no, a clear mind says go. What are some specific examples you can model for your speeches? When I do my storytelling workshops, I often refer people to books that I've not written. I've got my own, but there are some that have influenced me greatly. So I'll give them a specific list. That may be it. I might give them the opportunity to sign up for my 52 weekly tips. That's a weekly storytelling tip that comes in audio form. When I do a presentation skills workshop, I often give people an opportunity to sign up for my six week speaking course. Those are specific actions for people to take so they can take advantage of the information they've heard in my presentation. As you're putting together your sub points, be sure to include this critical step. Give them the technique, the how to step that will greatly increase the chances that they take action on your message long after they hear you speak. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.